The purpose of an in-check dial is to assess the peak inspiratory flow rate of a patient, simulate the resistance of specific inhalers, enable the healthcare professional to select the inhaler device appropriate to the patient, and allow the healthcare professional to coach the patient on how to use their inhaler correctly. Today, I'll be going over the inspiratory flow device, also known as the in-check dial. This is a handheld respiratory flow measurement device with a dial top. It is portable and the dial can be adjusted to simulate the resistance of popular inhaler available in the market. The inject dial enables clinicians to train patients to the proper inspiratory technique, considering the force and the flow rate to achieve optimal deposition of the medications into the lung. By using the inject dial, we can also have better evidence-based assessment on which inhalers to choose for our patients. So today I do have the in-check dial. So this is the in-check dial. And I also have a one-way valve respiratory mouthpiece that allows for replacement for different patients. It is adaptable for both adult and pediatric patients to protect the instrument as well as prevent any cross-contamination that can happen. So this is a device um, that measures the different resistance with the patient. And I do wanna show the dial top that comes with it. First, I'm going to demonstrate the um, beginning. So this is where the hole is very big and which um, reflects the lowest inspiratory flow rate that is required for the patient. And as we go counterclockwise, we can see that the hole is getting smaller and smaller. So this would reflect the higher inspiratory flow rate that is required for patients to inhale as we go on. I also have the manual with me that shows what type of inhaler reflects with the pattern that's shown on the dial top. So as we can see in the beginning with the biggest hole, that's where it um, reflects the respimat and also the MDI um, inhaler. And as we go on to orange, that's the breeze inhaler, and then also to the dark blue, that's a lipto and disc inhaler. To yellow, that's Spiromax. Teal is easy inhaler and twist inhaler. And then lastly, purple. This is the one that requires the highest inspiratory flow rate for the patient. And that's your handy inhaler and easy inhaler. Now I want to demonstrate how to properly use the in-check dial. So make sure when you tell the patients to use it, have the mouthpiece on top, tell them to hold the in-check dial like a sandwich and have the label facing on top to the ceiling. Make sure that the weight with the red wheel is all the way on the bottom. You wanna make sure by tapping it once so that the weight is on the bottom. Once they have it in the sandwich, um, we tell the patient to exhale away from the device and then forcefully inhale in um, through the mouthpiece. And once that happens, the wheel will reflect um, a number and that number will indicate the patient inspiratory flow rate. With that number, we as clinician can help the patient choose the correct inhaler based on their flow rate and also the force of inhalation. 